It's in my ear. It's eating my brain. Earwigs have me wigging out. It's what's up. Now, I think we all have from our childhood something that terrified us, that we were scared of, that worried us to death almost, right? For me, I had heard this story about an earwig. It was like this um, old wives' tale that if an earwig crawled into your ear, it would eat your brain and it would kill you or you'd go crazy. And I was uh, told this story, I don't remember how I heard this story, but it was about this king who wanted to assassinate some rival of his and he had invited this person to stay at the castle and had instructed his servants to put an earwig on the pillow or in the bed of his rival so that that earwig would go in his ear and kill him that night by eating his brain. Well, in the morning, uh, the king had asked if the servant had done it, and it comes out that there was some confusion that the servant had put the earwig in the wrong bed and had actually entered the ear of the king who was going to die from having his brain eaten. It kind of left off on that cliffhanger where the king found out that he was the one now with the earwig in his brain and the story ended abruptly. So for me growing up, uh, I've always despised and been like just disgusted by the crawliness of the pincher bug or the earwig. And uh, it wasn't until uh, recently when I was building this tree house in my yard and we had just had a particularly wet winter and our yard was infested with earwigs. So I went into battle against the earwigs that were invading the tree house that I was building. And this is some of that. I was working on it yesterday and I hit uh, a board and a bunch of earwigs came out. And can you imagine if uh, they were up there in the tree house and knocked something and all these earwigs came out, it would be a freak out festival. So uh, we're going to do a little earwig exploration and then maybe uh, come up with some solutions to rid the tree house of these earwigs. We're gonna give you a little for instance right now. This was a pile I put here yesterday. I have no idea what we're gonna find here, but uh, we're gonna do a little expo. Oh, look at that. Just a little exploration. And we're just gonna see as we uh, uncover this, uh, what uh, we're dealing with, okay? First level, second level, third level's kind of barren. There's a buddy. All right, there's another one. Oh, there's a few, yikes. Okay, what else? Oh my goodness, look at that, disgusting. Another one. They're probably all scurrying around from down here. Okay. Oh, good heavens. All right. Holy cow. Wow. Now, these aren't cockroaches, so it's not as bad as it could be. That was one night that they had, had, had been uh, kind of congregating, having little meetings uh, outside and underneath the boards that I just had cut yesterday. But let's see if there's any up in the treehouse uh, between yesterday and today. Oh, there's one. Oh my goodness, okay, they're all falling out here, you can see. There they are. Now, not as bad as yesterday, but uh, even from the night, we have a few thinking they're gonna move in. So we're gonna make a really fancy earwig trap that I heard about from a friend. Um, a tin can of tuna and some vegetable oil. So apparently, you just pour some vegetable oil into the can of tuna and you set it out like a little swimming pool of death for earwigs. So we're gonna find out if this works by putting it out tonight. All right, so we're just gonna put this bad boy here and we're gonna see what we get. So here we are, we're the next morning and it's probably been uh, maybe 
14 hours and let's see what we're dealing with here can we see that oh my gosh what do you think that's like 30 or more that's disturbing on many different levels now we're checking out day two to see if we uh have much more of a turnout to our little party here uh, can we see ah looks like some friends joined and uh, maybe we'll empty that out in a place where we can feed the little birdies if they come and see that little snack pile and what do you want to bet despite my uh, attempts at extermination we still probably have yep, there's a couple Oh, there's one. Come on. Now oh, there's another. There's a few. Oh, good heavens. What are they saying down there? That's disturbing. Whoa, my gosh. Yeesh. Ho. Oh. What are they saying? What are they saying? Oh boy, look at all those. Yikes. Oh. Whoa. There's more. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Good heavens. All right. So we're gonna set out a couple more earwig hot tubs. See what we get tonight. So this is after like four days and I'm gonna have to empty the trap. One as well, like four days. Have to redo this one too. So there's the pile of them after those are both dumped out. That is a lot of bugs. Oh my gosh, that was hideous and disgusting. Uh, normally bugs don't bug me, but cockroaches and, and earwigs, pincher bugs, they're just super creepy crawly. So that was my battle against the backyard bugs of the tree house. Now, I, I probably will see that next winter, next rainy season, they'll be back with a vengeance. Thanks for watching this creepy and gross episode of It's What's Up. Uh, if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be great. We have a lot of variety on It's What's Up, so if you wanted to check out some of the other videos, all kinds of stuff that we talk about, and then some other playlists that we'd love for you to explore. Thanks for watching, until next time.